I'm a big proponent of creating a work environment that brings you clarity and joy. In my apartment's kitchen, I kind of hated my faucet. It was old, rusty, and didn't bring me any joy, so I changed it. The parts cost me about $89, and for a plumbing noob like me, it took me just 90 minutes to change my sink area from lame to pretty sexy as far as sinks go. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process for installing a new faucet. Hey everyone, I'm Ethan, a home cooking nerd who likes to find better ways to cook and share them with all of you. So part of being a better cook, in my opinion, is creating a home cooking environment that you want to be in, you want to cook in. And for me, changing my sink is one of those things that I decided to do. I hated that old sink, so I decided to get a new one and install it. First time I've ever done it. Now, I actually don't know if I'm allowed to do this under my lease agreement, so I did keep the other sink so I can reinstall it, you know, at the end of the lease. But if you are worried about your lease um, agreement, probably just do the same thing that I did, just keep it around but it shouldn't be a big deal in the end. But anyway, let's hop into the video. I'll show you every step that it took me to install this sink. And um, if this is not your type of video, you know, we'll be back to regular food content in the next one. Let's go over the tools first. So all I used was this wrench to unscrew and fasten these supply lines, and then a screwdriver for the mounting hardware. Then obviously you need the faucet of your choice, which for me was this matte black one. Then separately I also purchased a faucet plate to cover the holes and an air gap cover to match as well. These are linked below if you want to check them out. To start the process, I first removed everything from underneath my sink so we have space to work. And then obviously we need to turn off the cold and hot water supply. My cold water supply is turned off by just a quarter turn. And then for the hot water supply, which also feeds the dishwasher, I needed to do multiple turns. And you just want to double check that the water supplies are off by turning your old faucet on both hot and cold. With the water turned off, disconnect the faucet supply lines by unscrewing them from the water supply and make sure you place a bowl underneath to capture any water drips that may still be in the lines. With the supply lines detached, the last thing to do is just remove the mounting hardware that secures the faucet from underneath the sink. For this faucet, it was as easy as just unscrewing a large bolt, and then with the mounting hardware removed, the faucet should lift straight out of the sink. Goodbye and good riddance. Now before installing the new faucet, I was left with a ton of rusted metal and just general sink grime. And even though the faucet plate will cover most of this, I decided to clean as much as I could. I used some Barkeeper's Friend for the initial layer and then moved to a sandpaper to get those really tough areas and just clean it as well as I could. Now we just need to do those steps in reverse to install the new faucet. Place the plate over top of the sink to cover the holes and then slide the supply lines down underneath the sink and screw in the mounting hardware from underneath. Once the mounting hardware is in place, reconnect the supply lines for both the hot and cold water and then you can turn them on. Again, it was multiple for the hot water and just the single turn for the cold water. And now I have a sink area that brings me joy. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. So hopefully you learned a little something about your sink. I know I did. And this will be the sink and faucet that is in the background of all the videos from now on. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Just had to show how tough he was, so he sets off all the car alarms. Ugh.